Hey guys, so we are literally walking to Mifune in New York City to try their massa tuna rib. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because I've never scraped tuna off a bone. Have you, Jake? <laughs> no, I've only had it out of a can and out of deli, so this is gonna be so exciting. All right, let's try it. Tuna has a different taste and texture depending on the parts. Tuna rib, as we call it, is maguro naka ochi. Uh, it is medium fatty tuna. It's very deeply flavorful uh, taste. We'd like to introduce it to the customers. We want to use all the fish. We don't want to waste any part of the fish. So the thing with scraping tuna off of this tuna rib is literally none of this fish is going to waste. You and your friends can sit down and all have a piece of this rib and all get individual tuna pieces and you're utilizing the whole fish, which is nice. And that's what they're big on here at Mifune is they don't want to waste it. And I'm a big fan of that. And I really like tuna, so I want all that I can get. In Japan, we often have hand roll sushi party in home with family, so most of Japanese people have a memory of that. So mom make a original hand roll to, for the kids. So scraping tuna is very joyful to discover source of uh, the food. I was a little hesitant at first. I didn't know if it was going to taste too fishy, if I didn't know if it would freak me out that I was literally eating off of a bone that I could see. But I mean, it's safe to eat, they've explained that, it's sustainable, and it doesn't taste any fishier than I'm used to. It tastes like tuna, and I really love tuna. <laughs> <laughs> 